Hi, it's uh, Joe here back uh, from Data Analytics Ireland. So thanks for coming back. Great to uh, have people back after looking at this video. It's, um, it's an interesting project. I'm kind of building a lot of different scenarios. I'm hoping the scenarios I build helps people in the work that they do. So today we're going to be looking at, we've created a data frame. And the data frame has our data in it but we actually want to add a column now there's obviously a number of different scenarios here you want to add a column just to have default values you want to add a column to do some calculations there could be a number of different ways to do it so i'm just going to highlight today um, how to create a new column and default values and then couple of different ways you could actually create a column uh, with some conditions around it I'm hoping this will um, help people it's certainly some of the concepts I'm introducing here are what are being used quite widely in the Python coding world so hopefully get something out of it so to start off just use some previous coded views and other videos to basically create a data frame so it's pretty straightforward um i basically then i'm creating a new column called new column here but in order for me to do a calculation down here i need to convert it to an integer so that the multiplication here times two can happen so that's what this line is for and then obviously this is just the um this actually the multiplication you can change this to multiplication or division or wh whatever you see fit to kind of just mess around with it and kind of get some idea how it works um, so I basically then um, that's that so if we go down here that's the initial multiplying by two but then we can also we can div create a column called new column zero and basic default to zero so if you ever want to default a value to anything you could just put it to zero i could change this to joe i better put some parts around it and it just defaults to joe so there's a number of different things you could change that to to yeah you know, whatever you feel so there's no um it's not nothing you need to do so i'll just change that back here to zero okay so you can see it's back to zero so that's that scenario where say you're loading data and um you're say from excel sheet or a text file or whatever and you basically want to create a column at the very start of the logic and default it to zero because you might use that column later on to do something else that's just a handy way of putting the figures or data in it so next thing is um say you have a column and then you want to create a new column and but what you want to do is in that new column you want to put conditions around it um so there's a number of ways i'm going to go through here so I have list con comprehension lambda and numpy i'll go through each one with you now so the list comprehension is i found i, I suppose what i'd say is i've been doing a bit of work on using if statements to try and do conditions apply conditions to a particular column to get certain values i found it was a bit tricky and the iteration bit was the bit probably was is quite hard if you are going to use if statements one of the things i found is you probably do them within a function which will then return the values but um that's not for today this is just to basically go through and show you how would i um basically create this new column so what I'm going to call it is new column list comp, okay? And we're going to put a basic, going to put a, an if statement in here. Um, now, so this is the column here, okay? So firstly, this one here, an if statement, we're basically saying if x, which is x in any value in this column here, okay, is less is is less than or equal to four. Um, if x is less than or equal to four, uh, apply zero. Okay, so in this scenario, we have this column here is two is less than, less than four, and that's then equal to four, so it's applying to zero. And then what it's basically doing is, if it doesn't meet that criteria, it basically takes x, which is any value in here, 
where the criteria is met and multiplies by 2. So this is 6 by 2, 8 by 16, 10 by 20, 12 by 2 is 24. So that's just a simple if statement. You could change that around. I just did some scenarios here. So in this scenario, we could basically we're basically saying it's like a like a range in a way. Um, if x is greater than or equal to four, um, which it isn't here, it is here. Apply zero. So anything that's greater than or equal to four, apply zero. But when and basically when we come down here, then it has and it's if it's and it's also has to be x less than or equal to ten. So basically, it's doing a range greater than or equal to four and equals equal greater or equal to 4 or less than or equal to 10 we apply a value 0 otherwise we apply a value uh, uh, play, multiply this column value by 2 so in this scenario 2 is not greater than or equal to 4 and base we multiply that by 2 and basically 12 is greater than or equal to 10 so we'll basically multiply that by 2 so that gives you an example of this comprehension there's another function, um, it's called lam lambda, and lambda is is quite similar to this comprehension. It's um, it's quite widely used, and it's basically the way they describe it is um, it basically iterates over a column, but it's anonymous, um, so uh, you don't have to. It's an anonymous function, so you can just bring in lambda anywhere within your code, as long as you got the code written right and it can be used um, so in this scenario again we've basically saying that was new column called the new column lambda we basically said um, make it equal to the new new column any the value here and apply basically any value in x and we're basically saying any value in this column multiply by two if x is greater than four so in this scenario if this scenario it would it basically basically else sorry else it basically applies zero so in this scenario two is not greater than four four is not greater than four so essentially we've basically six is greater than four eight is greater than four ten and twelve greater than four we multiply that by two okay so you can expand those you can expand this now again same function same logic but basically what we're doing is we're basically saying is x is greater than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to 10 uh, multiplied by 2. Otherwise, we're going to put in 0. So let me just rerun this. So we're looking for these values here to change. Okay, perfect. So in this scenario, we do have x in this column is equal to 4. So we're going to multiply by 2. Uh, 6 is greater than 4. Um, less than 10 we're going to multiply by 2 multiply this by 2 and this is because it's equal to 10 it's part of this logic here where we multiply by 2 and in the other columns then or the other value should i say it's because the 2 doesn't meet these conditions or the 12 doesn't meet these conditions it's just applied a value of 0. and so finally um there is one other um piece of logic you can use and it's numpy now numpy is a package that you can import it's very very easily widely used and the more you use python for data science and data scientific you'll get to use more to numpy so numpy basically has a, piece, a method here called it's where and basically what it allows you to do is it basically goes in and looks at a column and looks at its value and basically says if that value multiply that value by two um, if it's greater than four okay so otherwise applies zero so in this scenario um, that's not e greater than four applies a zero that's not greater than four applies zero then it comes down to this next value it basically all oh, that is greater than four multiplies it by two so that just goes all the way down um, so I hope this helped to explain how to create a new column and how to create conditions around it and the different types of ways you can do it. Um, there is the logic here, as I've shown, you can build this out more. Uh, as I said at the start of the video, I was trying with if statements, but if statements, I think, are basically not very good if you want to iterate over a um, 
over a column and to be honest they are get quite complicated and get messy and i lessons of an earth the hard way that probably to if you want to iterate it's don't use if statements and come some of use the list comprehension lambda or numpy as an example so that's the end of this video for today i hope you enjoyed it uh, remember to subscribe really appreciate it i'll be doing more videos soon and have a good day take care bye